She'll give us a talking to, and then she'll just love you like like one of her own kids. Now I don't get in trouble as much. Just everything's all easy. We go to the YMCA, play basketball, and do a lot of active stuff. It's like, oh, so you can get help. So then I started coming here after school with my friends. And then... I feel excited about it because I never had a chance to do that before. By definition, a promise is a vow or pledge. Uno. At Youth First Community of Promise, these kids count on five promises every day. A group of teachers started Youth First several years ago and based it on five promises kids need in order to be successful in life. You're very smart and as long as you apply yourself. First is the involvement of caring adults and not just parents. Adult influence is considered the cornerstone for a child's development. It's like another person there to support you. Like sometimes my mom doesn't really care about my schoolwork and sometimes she does. When Heidi all around she does care. It's like another mom. So a red honey or a skip? Heidi Geis is the Youth First Program Coordinator. We tussle a lot, some of those kids and I, because I'm like, uh-uh, you're a good kid. You make bad, bad choices, real bad choices. You are better than this, and you will be better than this in this program. The second promise is to provide a safe place in which kids can excel and feel valued. I can be more talkative because I'm usually shy. They just do a bunch of fun activities and stuff to get you connected with everybody else that goes here yeah. into your school, and I've just become more talkative. Youth First has evolved into a collaboration between the cities of Andover, Anoka, and Ramsey, and Anoka County, and the Anoka Hennepin School District. That all children need and deserve healthy bodies, minds, and habits is the third promise. Well, you get to play games, like, with each other. You get to eat food. That, that's one of my favorite things. They make like some of the best food. So you know what to do there? Every day at Youth First, the first order of business is homework. And the promise of help is often the reason many kids start coming. My grandmother, she was always like mad when I came home with like Fs. It can take the dread out of getting a report card. I came in from school one day and I, she was in a good mood. And then like I seen like paper on the refrigerator and it had my grades on it. And it was good, so I was really surprised. And then she like hugged me, and she's like, "I'm proud of you." I used to like never do my homework. The day before you get a test, you review your homework to see what's on the test. And like usually, like all my worksheets will be empty, so like I have no clue what's on the test. So then now that like my worksheets are actually done, I'll just go back and look at it. They helped me a lot. Got my grades up. Now I get like B's and A's and stuff. Homework is a big component, but oftentimes, Youth First can be the difference between a decision to be productive or destructive. There's so much that has to be done before we ever can worry about whether their algebra is done or not. And it's kind of the tool and the lure, like we get them to come in because, come on, we'll help you with your homework, we'll get this stuff done. But it just kind of becomes almost a secondary piece to all the other stuff that they're trying to deal with and that their families are trying to deal with. And at the end of the day, if I can say, yes, we got the algebra assignment done, that's a huge bonus. But more important, did we get to talk about their day? Did we get to talk about how they can change their behavior, how they can you know, start making changes and move in the direction that they want to go and that they feel like they have a safe place to come to? This is a team sport. The final promise of Youth First is the opportunity to help others whether it's packaging meals at a local charity or mentoring other kids. Because that's a crazy thing, it's voluntary. They don't have to come. They still come, even though we torture them with you have to do your homework, you know, let's talk about this, we do tough stuff and there's consequences. They still come, they still come back. They come back because of the promises, promises made and promises kept. In one word, how would they describe Youth First? Fun. Really, really great. Remarkable. Fun. Spectacular. I think essential. 